cosines now. Our law of cosines it says use it to find side x. So now here's a warning about law of cosines. For some reason, it's always messier. There's a lot more to it, but I don't know why. Invariably, it's the one that everybody has trouble getting into their calculators right. So I want to find this side. Where will I put that side in my formula? As the far left part. As the far left part. The part, remember, it's that side squared that's to the left of the equal sign. So the right of the equal sign, the law of sines has the other side, each squared and added together. It doesn't matter what order you do them in. So it would be 42 squared plus 21 squared minus 2 times the other two sides. So 42 times 21. Again, the order wasn't important. Times the cosine of, it needs to be the angle that is opposite x. So that would be this angle right here, so 39. <coughs> all right, now we plug all that into our calculator and we get x squared equals 42 squared plus 21 squared minus 2 times 42 times 21 times cosine of 39. Is that the answer to x? No. The part that people often forget is that's not the answer to x, that's the answer to x squared. So what do I need to do? Make the square root, and when I do that, I get what? I get plus or minus the square root of this number. So plus or minus 28.8810491, but I'm talking about a triangle. So what can you tell me about x? Length is positive. So x is going to be 28.8810491. Now you notice I'm writing a whole bunch of decimal places. This is one of the sections where it becomes important that you put enough in there. A lot of people just cut them off way too soon. Web work suggests four to five places to the right of the decimal. And make sure you round correctly, because they will be expecting you to do so. How are we doing on time? Oh, we're doing great. Give me an extra little shot of this. Let's see. Now, word problems. Two ships leave a harbor at the same time, traveling on courses that have an angle of 140 degrees between them. The first ship travels at 26 miles per hour, and the second ship travels at 34 miles per hour. How far apart are the two ships after three hours? Yeah, you feel like you're reading about trains, don't you? One train's going this way, and another train's going that way, and they, you know... But we're not doing trains, we're doing ships. And we need to use one of the laws of either sines or cosines. Let's figure out which one. The way I would figure out which one would be to draw a picture, and it helps then to figure out what you have and what you don't have. So we've got a harbor here. Our ships leave the harbor. In between them, there's an angle of 140 degrees. That angle is 140 degrees. Now, ship one, we'll say it's this one, it doesn't matter which one you pick, is traveling at 26 miles an hour. Can I figure out how far it's gone in three hours? Yeah, so this, this length is going to be 26 times 3, which will be what? 72. Yeah,
to distance between them. So that would be this red line there. So I have two sides and an angle between them, and I'm being asked to find the third side. Whenever I have that, the law of cosines will be the one to use. In order to use the law of sines, I would have to have two angles. No, not a right triangle. Right that's so. No, it's not. That's the deal. This isn't a right triangle, so I can't use that. Just like I can't use all of my opposite over adjacent and hypotenuse stuff because it's not a right triangle. That all applied to right triangles. And now that we're doing non-right triangles, I'm stuck with these formulas. But they're not so good. All right. So this is what I'm looking for. Is it okay if I call it this? We'll call it X. So using my, well, I'll let you do it. Law of cosines, I can find out what X is. Go right ahead. Yeah, same formula. This will still be on the left. It's the left side of the equal sign. These numbers will be so on the right side of the equal sign. No, because the 26 just told us how fast it moved each hour, and we need to incorporate all three hours. So we use the 78 and the 102. All right, you guys do it. Look down 